Hello everybody, this is Kurt. We're going to play a new game today. It's a game in early access on Steam called uh, Space Haven. Yeah, Space Haven. Uh, I've got a little bit of experience playing this before, and it's in early access, so there's constantly new things being added, but essentially the point, um, I've heard it described as Rimworld in space, so it's sort of like a, another type of sci-fi story generator. So, we'll get going. It's possible. This is I'm going to do this completely wrong. And that's okay, it's a fun little game. Alright, so, yep, thank you. Uh-huh, okay. So let's pause it. So you have this ship, or this hull of a ship, and you start in a sector, and it's got various resources. Um, this has a lot of different types of resources. This is ener Energium, that's for power. Hyperium, that's for getting to and from places. There's all different types of other things. As we go through, we'll figure it out some more. Um, I think, if I recall, the big problem in the early game is that, well, let's see. Got some objectives, storage is full, there's nowhere to relax, and there's no tools facility. So, we gotta build a tools facility. Uh, none of that, none of that. Uh, resource? Yes, here we go. So this creates and builds tools for your crew members, essential for building. Alright, so there's a power generator right here. Um, temperature right there. How do we want this laid out? Got all this big open space. We're going to need to build some beds. Eventually going to need to build a control area. This is supposed to be the hangar. I'd like to save this mostly for storage if I can, but for now, just due to the nature of things, let's get one of these out. Uh, water purifier, power, facility, oh yeah, life support, yep, built a tools facility. I think we're going to need to put in an oxygen generator? What is this? Thermal regulators. Alright, well, let's fast forward it. Let's get this going. There we go. Got that built. And it should give us a new objective, I think. Alright, build an oxygen generator and build a gas scrubber. Alright, so part of the reason why this is having a hard time. It's such a big room. Alright, I've got a bunch of different ideas right now. Thinking about expanding the ship already. Uh, what are those hull blocks? Yeah, that's what you use to expand your ship. Hmm. It might be good, but. Well, let's just focus on this for now. So you need an oxygen generator. And there's just not a lot of room back there. And I feel like that causes problems, if I remember correctly. It'd be nice to have, like, a... I don't know, maintenance area? Yeah, I think I think we got to. Alright, wall. Wall. X1 wall. Okay. So, let's see. Maintenance. We already have power back here. Could we... Let's, could we do this? Let's try it. Do that, and we'll put in an X2 door because it's because it looks awesome. That's a good spot for it, I think. Hmm, I may not have thought this through. All right, how do I cancel? How do I cancel? Cancel hole? That's not how you do it. Um, remove hole? Uh, yep, N no. Okay, what is up with this, guys? Clear all. Customize room look. That was more than I bargained for. Cancel. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But that's not how that works. Walls. I did 
That's just customizing the room look, you guys. What if I did this? Oh. Do I have to... I gotta do this. Yeah, see, this is what happens. You don't think things through. And then you gotta do all this extra work. Alright, so that's not a great spot. So that's for now. Let's just build it out in the open. We can always move things later. So the oxygen generator and the gas cover. Let's put those there and then turn up the um, speed here. See if we can get these things complete. There we go. We got both right here. Cool. So thermal regulator and a wall thermal regulator. Okay, what's this say? Build more oxygen generators? Excuse me? Alright, thermal regulators. I mean, they want me to build one. There's already one built, but... I guess I'll build one there, but then to get... To do that, I gotta have power. Do a floor node, I guess? Okay, now... You gotta link it. Right here. Okay, it's linked. Thanks, yep, I got it. So now we got some of this going. They want me to build lights so my crew can see. Well, to be honest, I prefer them to be in the dark. Thank you very much. Oh, here's some new ones. And floor light. I like that. I don't think I want to do that, though. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking... Who cover object... That's new. X1 couch, all right. Facility research workbench, research lab. Interesting, a toilet, life support. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do toilet. Airlock. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna worry about this yet, but I've got to, I've got to start planning. So this is your buildable area for the ship. I know this is a nice like sort of hangar slash warehouse area. I hesitate to build anything in here for that reason. Also in my experience if you're gonna build back here you're gonna want to keep a pretty clear walking space. Build out some wings. See some people make them look really cool. I, I'm not nearly that creative. Well, I could be if I wanted to be, but I I don't want to be for this. Kind of want to just mess around. Alright, so if you had crew quarters on a ship, I feel like it would be, you want it to be more central. I feel like you could have the bridge here. Also have the bridge in the core of the facility. Probably the safest spot. You also have a sort of outrigger on the side. All right. Well, you know what? Let's start with the the big old boxy thing. Let's see where that gets us. All right. So the, what am I building here? I think I should build crew quarters and a bathroom. For now. Is that big enough? No. What is this for? Let's do that. Oh, whoops, was I not paused that whole time? Hehe. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Do we have enough hull blocks? Nowhere to relax. I'm working on it. Okay. So, walls. Nope, objects. Wall. Man. I wish I could plan it all out before I did all this nonsense. It's caused me so much anxiety, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. I think it'd be nice to have a corridor in the center of the ship. I think that would make a lot of sense. Is that center? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not even close. So, what do you think? Yep, let's do that. Put a wall here and a wall here. And then we want the door for this to be. How about X1 with a window? 
Does that make sense for crew quarters? Yeah, I think so. And then, uh, yeah, that's tight. I want to put a bathroom there. Jay was thinking about it. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang nabbit. How, okay, how large are the beds? Oh, you got some bunks. Let's see here. I did that. And what if I did... Ooh, very interesting. Oh, some privacy. And some, uh, some poopy places. There, we got that. Now, power is going to be a thing. Always is going to be a thing. Yeah, I see. If I put it here, that gets that whole area. So that's a good one. And then, this is where we're going to put the lights. A wall light. Yeah. Can't plan that far in advance. So let's just let them get to work. Hopefully I've got enough supplies. Enough for, is it supplies or resources? Now it says, what is this? Oh, okay. Because that's not put together yet. There it is. Now I'll we'll be able to link it. Got a little daisy chain there. Energy level. Oh, okay. Generating this much, consuming this much? I wonder... I have a place to store things. So they just kind of passed out there. Because I didn't have the beds built. See, audio seems really quiet. Game settings, sound effects, interface sounds, music. Zucasta music. I like that. Turn all the sounds up a little bit. There. It's too quiet. Alright, as soon as they wake up, which has something to do with this calendar clock thing. Okay, taking a dump, taking a dump, taking a dump, taking a dump. Cool. So they all woke up, took a dump, now they're gonna go chillax. Now we we'll won't know what they're doing. Alright, building some beds, putting it all together. Okay, now if I remember correctly, to make it so that they don't bas they basically don't die when they're sleeping, you need to have a vent. Let's do that. And now they're ready for their lights. Kitchen or an algae dispenser? Where would that? Where should that go? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's that to consider, and then we also have quite a few derelict vessels here. I customized the start. What does it say? Ship un. All oh, right. I haven't built the the doohickey there. So they're like they're talking. Just one guy, three ladies. Trying to survive the apocalypse. So let's see. Maybe we could do another crew quarters here, mirroring this. And if that were the case, it might be nice to have sort of like a crew mess over here. Yeah, let's do that. We got 43 hull blocks. That should be enough to extend the structure out like so. Our little robot buildy things. Yeah, I know there's nowhere to relax. There. Wonderful. Alright. Hmm. So, wall time. Could also have it open to the air, but that seems like not a great idea. Let's see, one, two, three, four, that's six, and I built six there, good. I want this to be enclosed. I mean, I 
feel like it should be enclosed. And then the door with a window here. And life support, we're gonna want that air vent in here. Can't do it because it's not built yet, power. I like these in-floor notes. Because they tend to save space. Also do a wall node. Now I'll do the in-floor one. Is that cover? Is that full coverage? Can't build that there. It's wasting some coverage. That's not enough. I guess I don't have a choice. Well. Could do this. Yeah, alright. Well let's just build it first. Let's build the walls first. I think some windows might be nice here. I think this might call for some windows. A wall window. Right here. Is that fit? Can't build here. Oh, once it's built, they don't let you. Oh, I see. They want you to do that first. If I click this, will they be able to upgrade it? No, I'm just gonna dismantle. Yeah, I think some windows in the hall would be nice. So that people could see and then a window here it's kind of what I'm thinking too big that's perfect there that looks nice alright so then food I want a kitchen and then the furniture I want what's the difference between x1 and a table that's a square, it's a circle, it's got the same footprint. This room's pretty small. And then X1 chair. Three of those. And how about a wall like right here? And then how about power in the floor? purifier yeah, okay uh, but let's put in an air vent want to keep that airflow <coughs> hmm. there we go okay let's slow it down all right so we're starting to make this the ship a more livable place uh, I want a water purifier. Yeah, right here. That probably generates. Yeah, generates some heat. I think for now we put this here. Oh, is there a ship? Ship enter? Doesn't look like it. Pretty loaded up here, gang. All right. So I also got to think about sending, starting to send some folks over. I think he's gonna go pick up a weapon. That's what we're looking at. I want me to draft them first. Pick up. So, shotgun, 5.7 pistol. Let's give him a shotgun. Is this a secondary? No, it's not. Alright, so he's got that. Now I want him, if I remember how this is done, space suit on, and then who else was it? Beverly? Is she good with weapons? No. Lily? No. Alana? He's really the only one good with weapons. Interesting. Hmm. Should be important for research, so I shouldn't take her. Mining and botany shouldn't really take her. Navigation industry, man, they're all they're all really important. Let's see. But I'd be least disappointed if Beverly 
bit the dust. I'm gonna draft her. Have her pick up a weapon too. Give her the shotgun. Alright, and then have her enter craft too. Have him enter craft. Alright. So I'm gonna send him to the nearest ship here. Shuttle hangar? No. I draft him. And I'll send him here. Alright, here we go. her spacesuit on or if she does it automatically. So if she doesn't do it automatically, she's gonna not be real thrilled with what <laughs> with what's gonna happen here. Alright, so they landed. Okay. Okay, yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of supplies here. Nice and slow, could be aliens. So far, so good. Lots of supplies, didn't mean to fire. Alright. Super abundant resources here. Okay, nobody here. Looks like there's an intelligence document there. Clear the ship. We'll go back and take a look. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna have um, Beverly come here. Undraft both of them. Can I salvage? Yeah, I know. Okay. So. Oh, there. Right. That's how you do it. Transfer. So I'm gonna select. Uh, what? Android corpse. Interesting. That is new. Do I want to take that? I mean, select all. Bodies. And salvage. Um, I feel like. Oh man. I don't know if we're going to salvage any of that. It's a lot of scrap. Alright, let's do that and then undraft here. And then hit this yield acceleration button. Let them do what they're going to do. And then tomorrow, when they all wake up. They'll begin salvaging, salvaging anything from the Wyvern, what's the name of that ship, I think. Yeah. Interesting. Settings, what is that? Crew? There's no crew, but... Oh, okay, so they're queuing up resources. I'm not even an asteroid. Can't say I'm really concerned about that. Alright, looks like we may have gotten everything we needed. Yes, we did. Okay, so... Is it close to the bedtimes? No, it's not. Joshua's got the shotgun, so it's Lily. Draft both of them. Ship. Okay, that's drafted now. Let's go investigate, 
investigate. <laughs> I guess in a way we are investigating them. Gonna investigate this vessel. All right. This is one of my favorite parts of this game. Exploring these ships. If you're never quite sure what you're gonna find. I think it's a, it makes a really for a really interesting. Um, really interesting game mechanic, having to salvage all of your supplies, or so much of it. You can't really hope to produce enough. I suspect that as the development continues of this game, there'll be more enemies and more things added to it. It sort of makes the exploration even more rewarding than it already is. And if that's the case, I can sign me up. Because with, with the content the game has now, I've been having quite a bit of fun playing. Oh, there's a body. There's no enemies. Okay, we explored the ship. We'll undraft. And we'll undraft and we'll click here. We'll transfer. What is it? A pirate? A deceased human? Let's select all. Do this and then hit that and do that. Yeah, that's good. We'll take everything. And the salvage, this is the thing I've always kind of had issues with figuring out where I get all the salvage, what I do with the salvage. And one thing's for sure, though, I think we're going to run out of storage space. You know, we're getting close. So then that'd be a new thing to create here. Storage, large storage. Body storage. Fascinating. Okay. Hmm. These are the kinds of things you cannot move once you place them. So wherever we put this... It's pretty much stuck. I just can't build here. I can build here. Can't build here, though. Interesting. That's pretty far away from here. Okay, well, let's do it for now. Um, what else can we build? I think, hmm, recycler, scrap materials into usable materials. That feels like it should be really valuable and helpful. Yeah, it does. Is that something we want to put in this main area? It's going to get quite, quite densely packed if we do. You know, one thing I think that they could add to improve the game is an easier, like, status. Status screen, like just to figure out is oxygen okay, temperature okay, stuff like that. But alas, they don't, so here we are. Okay, so I feel like we should expand a little bit in order to house some of this stuff. But boy. Well, again, I keep doing this to myself. I can always move these things. There's no no reason why I would have to do... leave everything in the same spot. So now we've got a recycler. Very cool. How's our power generation and consumption going? Nothing. Power grid, there we go. It's not really keeping up. Yeah. Interesting. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this game. I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy this game. 
if you do, uh, leave a comment, let me know, or like. You can subscribe if you want to watch more videos of me playing games. If not, that's okay too. I'll keep doing it anyway. So, uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll see you later.